how to maintain your gains, how to keep your gains after a 300 milligram testosterone and enhanthate cycle. What's up everybody, it's that white boy from the yard back at it again with another enhanced question series with Dr. Tony Huge. And today's question is short but simple and a lot of guys been asking me this, so tell us Tony. At first, I'm not a doctor, I don't have any form of medical degrees whatsoever. I don't pretend to be a doctor. Don't listen to what I say. This is all my personal opinion, how I see things and what I would do to my body. I always go to a doctor before using any form of supplementation. Okay, like I said, so the question for today is kind of short, but I got asked it a lot. How to maintain your gains, how to keep your gains after a 300 milligram testosterone and enhanced cycle. Hey white boy, so you want to know how to maintain gains after a 300 milligram testosterone cycle? Well, let's break it down to some elements. We have diet, training, supplementation, and chemical enhancement. Uh, so when we come off 300 milligrams, our natural testosterone is going to be suppressed uh, because our, our body's not going to want to produce testosterone when we're supplementing with testosterone. That's why we do PCT, post-cycle therapy. And we do not want the testosterone level to drop so low that it's not enough androgens to maintain the muscle that we grew. So we need to keep androgen levels up. Um, that's why we artificially boost it temporarily and jumpstart our testosterone production with things like uh, tamoxifen, clomiphene, and HCG, just three of the most common PCT compounds. Uh, so a PCT is one thing. Uh, and then that's for the chemical side. And there's other things we can take, supplements that we can take to maintain muscle as well, including SARMs in very low dosages are not very suppressive, but they are able to maintain the gains from a cycle. Um, and just like 10 milligrams of most SARMs is enough to not suppress testosterone very much, allow testosterone to recover and uh, enough to maintain the gains. Uh, then we've got diet, of course. Um, if you don't eat enough food, you're gonna lose muscle. You're gonna catabolize muscle. The more muscle you have over and above your natural level of muscle, uh, the more resources it takes to maintain that muscle. So you have to have more protein. Uh, you have to have, you, you, you can't intermittent fast so much. Once you get a certain amount of muscle size, you will lose it if you miss a meal. I mean, some of the most uh, impressive physiques, biggest muscular bodybuilders in the world, uh, you know, what, what they all have in common is they don't miss a meal. Then you got training. Usually uh, when we're training on cycle, we are training really hard because we know we can recover from it and we want to maximize the chemistry. Uh, what people often do when they come off cycle is they start not training as hard and then they, they realize how much faster they can build muscle with chemical enhancement. And then they start thinking, well, what's the point of even working out without it? I could just not work out, take a couple months off, come back, blast the chemicals and uh, train and get all that muscle back again, which is true. Uh, the problem is that then you're spending the first two weeks of your cycle getting muscle back instead of growing beyond a super physiological level. So most people who are cycling gear are doing the whole two steps forward and one step back instead of what two steps forward and then maintaining and two steps forward and maintaining and two steps forward and maintaining, which is much healthier because it's a lot less work to build muscle if you're not coming from a deficit. Hopefully those are some good tips to help maintain muscle after a 300 milligram uh, testosterone cycle. I'm here in uh, Thailand visiting one of my girlfriend's friend's condos. Uh, these little units like this are $150 a month. They're in a great area, great location, um, but it's got a bathroom and a shower and basically one little room like that. So pretty cheap, but pay a little bit more and you can get something really nice around here. All right. Thanks a lot, Tony, for answering these questions again. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them on my Instagram, which is White Boy from the Yard. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Anabolic TV and FromTheYardNation.com as well. And that was it for today's video, guys. I'm out.